Hello folks, it's Tiso here to help you out with the second half of the main event in version 2.3 where you have to fight the giant Hooper Flower. The second half is also where you get the Vanquisher's Emblem. You will need 2520 emblems to clear out the shop. Each time you defeat the Whooper Flower, you'll get 300 emblems, but you can also complete 6 challenges to get 720 more. This means you can clear out the shop if you finish every challenge and beat the boss 6 times. This video will show you how to get all of these challenges as well as how to fight the boss efficiently. First off, the boss is located here in Dragonspine. You have to finish the story quest first before you unlock the fight. And the story quest unlocks on December 1st, server time. There is no required character for this fight, but I recommend having an archer to make things faster as well as a pyro unit to get rid of some shields and a healer. You can also do this fight in co-op or single player. I prefer single player since I can finish the boss in about 2 minutes by myself. So let me show you a way to fight the boss and get some challenges done at the same time. The boss will have an ice shield which you need to break before you can actually damage the real boss. You can use pyro attacks to slowly whittle down the ice shield, but that takes a long time. The faster way is to take advantage of the arcane fruits it summons. The first fruit it summons will always do the slam attack. Not getting hit by this slam attack is one of the 6 challenges. And here's why I want to bring an archer. Instead of waiting for it to do 3 slams and then attacking, I can attack it while it's in the air with an archer. It doesn't matter what level your archer or caster is, you just need to hit the fruit. After destroying each fruit, it will send back a shard at the boss that will do about a third of the shield. Whenever the boss's shield takes damage, it will release arcane essences. If you don't pick these up, the boss will absorb the essences and regenerate a lot of shield. So make sure to pick all these up. Another challenge is to not let the boss absorb any essences, so you want to pick these up regardless. The one downside is after you pick these up, your health will slowly drain. This is why we want to bring a healer, because the drain hurts. The drain damage won't kill you, but it will bring you one hit from death. The second fruit it summons will always float in the air, so this is another reason why you want to bring an archer or a caster. Usually around this time, the boss will also throw some snowballs at you. If you destroy the fruit while the boss is throwing snowballs, you will stun the boss and complete another challenge. Make sure to grab the essences after each time you do damage to the shield. Notice that Bennett's pyro attack did a little shield damage and it spawned an essence, so make sure to pick that one up if you want to complete that challenge. The third fruit will be on the ground, but it will summon adds. You will need to defeat 4 of these adds in total in order to complete another challenge. It doesn't have to be on the same run, it just has to be 4 in total. And this third fruit is also considered the boss's last fruit. So if you destroy this as well, you'll complete another challenge. When the boss's shield is gone, it will be stunned for quite a while and you can finally do damage to it. Use your best team combo to defeat the boss. And the last challenge is related to the second phase. After the boss recovers, it will start attacking you. One of the attacks is going underground and emerging. You will want to dodge that attack that I will show you later. You get 300 emblems each time you defeat the boss. Remember, you only need to defeat the boss 6 times if you can get all 6 challenges. If you follow this guide, you can actually get 5 of the challenges in a single run. Okay, so let's go over the 6 challenges. First is to destroy all arcane fruits and defeat the fell flower. You'll get this by destroying all 3 fruits, which we done. Next, defeat the fell flower without allowing it to absorb any arcane essences. For the challenge, just make sure to grab all the arcane essences every time you do damage to the shield. Next up, do not get hit by the fruit's hammer strikes. The hammer strikes is the ground pound attack that the first fruit summons. Just stay away when it slams down and you'll get the challenge. The fourth one is to interrupt the snowball attack. The second fruit I destroyed interrupted the boss's snowball attack, so that's how I got this challenge. Next, we have to defeat 4 monsters created by the arcane fruit. The third fruit is the one that summons the large cryo slimes. You will need to defeat 4 of those in total at some point in time. That is also the challenge you will most likely not get on a single run. And finally, defeat the Fell Flower without getting hit by the subterranean attack. It does this attack in phase 2, which I talked about, but now let's actually show you what it looks like. So once the boss is shrunk, it will sometimes dig underground and pop back up. 
just dash away and you'll dodge the attack very easily. And that's how you do all 6 challenges. Once again, you need 2520 emblems to clear out the shop. Hope this guide is helpful. Like, comment, and subscribe and do all that nice YouTube stuff to help me out. And I'll finish off this video by showing the cutscenes from the story. These cutscenes will contain spoiler, but if you have unlocked the boss, you would have seen it anyway. So this is just in case you want to watch it again and again. Anyways, that's all for now, and remember to have fun out there, traveler. It's not over yet. My story. Yes, I should have known. Master's failed specimen in the dragon's belly. This is where the story truly begins. <laughs> if we switched places, if you were the survivor, then as the abandoned experiment, the failure of the primordial human project, I'd want to replace you too. I would replicate your appearance, study your alchemy, and create miraculous life forms to divert your attention. I would wait for the right moment, then dispose of you and the Traveler, the sole person to have known your secret. And then, I could finally experience the joy of being brought into the world. <laughs>